Nintendo is on the brink of a game-changing release. The Nintendo Switch 2 is set to land in 2025, facing off against one of the busiest lineups in gaming history. But with so many rumors swirling, fans wonder if Nintendo is positioning itself for its biggest comeback yet. Could Nintendo's greatest rival be itself? To understand why this potential comeback is such a big deal, we have to look back. The original Nintendo Switch launched to both excitement and skepticism. Many wondered if a hybrid console could truly work, especially with the powerful PlayStation and Xbox already established. But Nintendo quickly proved the doubters wrong. The Switch became a cultural phenomenon, seamlessly bridging portable gaming with home console power. Games like The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey didn't just show what the Switch could do. They redefined what a Nintendo console could be. Now, nearly a decade later, Nintendo is gearing up to redefine handheld gaming once again with the Nintendo Switch 2. Rumors and leaks are teasing a device more powerful, more versatile, and packed with a killer lineup of games. And if there's anything we've learned from Nintendo, it's that they know how to take bold risks. But let's be real, 2025 isn't an easy year to make a comeback. Look at the competition. Games like Grand Theft Auto 6, Death Stranding 2, Avowed and Fable are all set to release, creating an incredibly competitive landscape. Many of these titles are pushing the limits of graphics, storytelling and immersion in ways that might make a portable console like the Switch 2 feel outmatched. But here's the twist Nintendo isn't competing with Sony and Microsoft in the traditional sense. Instead, they're focusing on exclusives and experiences you can't get anywhere else. And that's where Metroid Prime 4, Beyond, and Pokemon Legends, Zia come in. These games alone are massive draws, and with them rumored to be exclusives for the Switch 2, Nintendo is laying down the challenge. It's not about raw power, it's about creating an ecosystem that players can't resist. Metroid Prime 4, Beyond is highly anticipated. It's been nearly 18 years since the last Metroid Prime, and fans are hungry for Samus to make her return. Turn. A new adventure in that universe alone could draw thousands to the console. Then there's Pokemon Legends ZA. After the success of Pokemon Legends, Arceus fans have been itching for a follow-up that expands the series in bold ways. Nintendo knows that Pokemon is one of its biggest powerhouses, and an exclusive on the Switch 2 would be huge, especially for fans who grew up with the franchise. But can these exclusives be enough to take on the likes of Fable or GTA 6? Nintendo is betting on something bigger, innovation. Rumors are circulating about possible upgrades to the Switch 2's hardware, including a larger OLED screen, improved processing power, and even advanced haptics. The idea here isn't just to make games look better, it's to create an immersive, portable experience that feels next-gen in your hands. This aligns with Nintendo's philosophy, they prioritize unique, engaging gameplay over raw specs. Let's not forget that third-party developers could also jump on the bandwagon. Nintendo has kept its doors open, and if popular franchises like Monster Hunter or even Borderlands drop ports onto the Switch 2, it could create a new wave of interest. Imagine exploring Monster Hunter Wilds in handheld mode, taking down creatures on the go. For fans of action-packed open-world gameplay, this could be the perfect combination of freedom and immersion. So, what's Nintendo's endgame? They're aiming to make the Switch 2 a must-have device, not just for traditional Nintendo fans, but for any gamer looking for an experience they can't get elsewhere. The idea isn't just to compete in the console wars, but to carve out a space where they're in a league of their own. In a year like 2025, where blockbuster titles are dropping left and right, Nintendo might just turn the tables by staying true to what they do best, surprising us. The Switch 2 isn't here to be a PlayStation or Xbox killer. It's here to remind the world why Nintendo still matters in the age of high-spec consoles. And if they can pull off that magic, the Switch 2 might just be Nintendo's best comeback yet.